live on KPRC TV and the KPRC 2 Plus live stream. The news starts now. 12 year old Amani Hughes has been found safe. The week long search for her coming to an end today after she was found in Columbus, about an hour west of Houston. We'll have the latest on that. And wildfires continue to ravage the Texas panhandle, tearing through homes and fields, putting lives and livelihoods at risk. Thank you for joining us here at 3. I'm Lisa Hernandez. Those fires have already claimed two lives, and Governor Greg Abbott said today at least 500 structures have been destroyed. Our Gage Golding is near Stinnett where he spoke to one resident who lost everything. We're just outside of Stinnett, Texas, where this wildfire claimed nearly a dozen homes in this community alone. This house right here actually belongs to a volunteer firefighter. It's reduced to rubble. You see just nothing here. Even the lawn tractor over here. Check this out charred and giant pieces of aluminum. I'm not even sure what truly this belongs to, but that's how hot this wildfire was burning to melt aluminum, completely destroyed, not able to salvage anything out of this home. And Charles, you're the volunteer firefighter here. Sir. How are you, sir? I'm sorry to hear your house, but I'm not sorry to hear of the incredible story that you have. You actually gave up saving your own home to save your neighbors. How many homes were you able to save? Um, well, it to be honest, it's not me. It, it, it wasn't just me. And it's a, a huge group effort from our, our volunteer department, our outside agencies that come to help us. Um, it, I've had that, that brought up a couple times in the last couple of days, and I I'm, I'm want people to know that it's not just one person's effort. It's a group effort. It's a, an amazing group of people that have chosen to volunteer for a greater good. And when you look at what was your home, all of your belongings, your family heirlooms, I mean, what goes through your heart and your mind when you see this? Um, it's it's devastating, of course. Um, I'm very humbled by the assistance that I've been getting, um, help that's been offered. It's, with the exception of my cat that I wasn't able to get out of the house, um, I wasn't able to rescue rescue. Um, it's just stuff. It's yeah, it's it's all that I had. I mean, this is my my world. Um, glad that my kids weren't here. Um, glad that I wasn't here. And it's just been kind of a gut check. Well, thank you, Charles. We yes, appreciate it. I know there's a lot of people here in the community, fire departments from all over. Actually, while we were doing an interview a little bit earlier, fire departments coming and checking just to do damage assessments, but just to make sure everything's okay. Because as we've been talking about throughout the morning and throughout the afternoon and going into the evening, the fire threat level just continues to rise here in the Texas Panhandle after that snow, which really gave firefighters that opportunity to play catch up on this fire. Now they have to make sure they keep driving ahead because as we go into the the weekend, the fire danger level just skyrockets. Back to you. Gage Golding near Stinnett. Thank you, Gage. And just south of that location, Governor Abbott held.